Hey, so fam, Amelia Dear here. Hope you guys are feeling good and doing good. I'm feeling. <coughs> Look, I'm a fool. I'm feeling good. I'm doing good. And you know, I got a great topic for you to do. I'm excited. Ow. I, I, uh, I got my comb in my hand, my lap. I'm excited because so fam, let me tell you something. Today is a great day. Okay. No matter if you're feeling a little stress, you're feeling a little at ease, you're feeling like God is hearing you, listen, God is hearing you, okay? You just have to keep strong, keep going, keep moving, and trust yourself, okay? Sometimes we start falling into those negative thoughts and we be sitting there like, trust me, soul man. We are not alone, but we got to stay strong. And we got to leave them alone because in order to grow, babe, these are things that we have to battle with. Sometimes we be in a battle and then we be upset we in the battle. This the battle, babe. This is what you've been asking for, boo. Yeah. Success is not easy, babe. Success is hard. And before we even get to this topic, let me just, let me just get this out. All right. Success is not for everyone. I'm sorry. Okay. Listen, it's a tr it must be a truth. I'm not even going to stop the video. We do. I was thinking like, oh, that's me. No, it's true. So fam, success is not for everyone. Because everyone is not willing to put in the work that it takes. Everyone's not willing to put it with the stress, the heartache, the, the faith, what you can't see. See, when it's something you can't see, you be sitting there like, you be sitting there like, I got to see, I got to see. Because this world teaches us that we need to see everything. And we need to, you know what I'm saying? We need to know A, B, C, D before we do A. No, not with God. Not the way he works. He said, listen, I got to only show you A. Because if I show you B, you might start running your mouth. You might start running your yap off. You might get so excited. And you might start telling too much. So the most I can tell you is have faith. You be like, That's how that relationship is built, okay? And and not just in the success, okay? Success with God in your life. And y'all know, so fam, I talk about this in, in one of my other videos that we've been keeping up. Sometimes we get confused. Oh, my video had cut off, so fam. My battery had died. But I was talking about how good grace is mistaken for good karma. Okay, and sometimes we be trying to follow people that got, that has good karma and we get fooled thinking it's God's grace. The Lord said, not today, not today. Ooh. He said, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Ooh. Don't be fooled. And the way we don't be fooled so fam is we have to look at the fruit. And fruit is always actions. Okay, how somebody is acting, okay, how somebody is treating you, and not only treating you, how they treating other people. The best way to know someone's actions is to see how they treat someone that they don't need. And when I learned that, I don't know where I learned that. I think, I don't know if I made it up or if somebody, if I read it in a book. When I started to really realize that, like, yo, when they don't think they need you anymore, that's when they start acting all crazy. You know what I say? That's when they get, you be like, ooh, I thought it was cold. We had ice cream together. You know what I'm saying? Get your ruffle just a little. Almost got me, okay? Don't let them get you so fan. Stay strong, okay? And trust the process. Sometimes we be trying to like force things because again, we be in that shift of living life like this, and then we try to shift and live life with God, and we have to understand it's not going to be the same. So you always going to get that friction when you try to mush things together that just it's not meant to be together. It's just not meant to be. I'm just a messenger, you know. It's not meant for you for that to be like that. That's why you getting that. 
friction, baby. So you want to back up out of that friction just a lot of it. You know what I say? Okay. Let's get into today's topic. Now, if you made it to this part of the video, just know it's going to be good. Okay? So tell me how to just let the haters X out the video in one minute because they be just one minute just to just be a little nosy. They be trying to sniff around and get all the secrets. No, this is not for you, babe. This is for the soul fam. Okay? This is for those that be putting in that work. Okay? So back up. You got back, back up. Okay. Let's get into today's topic, so fam. Let's talk about it. Oh my life look a little dark. Sorry. So fam, let's talk about actually no, it's not alright. I need it to be bright. It's okay. Okay. Right? Don't look like it's blinking a little. Alright, I'ma just say. Cause sometimes I just be me. Anyway, so fam, let's get into today's topic. Understanding why a man or a woman is intimidating about your relationship with God. Don't you get annoyed, right? When they just be so judgmental, so upset, you know, ruffled. Like, why are you so ruffled that I have a relationship with God? You know what that tells me, so fam? They don't have a relationship with God. When someone is annoyed about your relationship with God, they don't have a relationship with God, okay? They may say they do, you know? Well, I'm blessed. Okay. Me too when somebody say, bless you. You know what I'm saying? But will you really get into it so fast when you really start, like, doing the work that God wants you to do? You'll start to see, not everybody be doing the work that God wants them to do. Oftentimes, people are doing work that they want to do, and they found ways to make it work. They may not be happy with all of it, but they found ways to make it work. And because they found ways to make it work, they say, oh, God did this. God didn't do that. Boom. That was you. Okay? Same like sometimes we'll be, let's talk, let's. Business, right? We'll be wanting our business to take off, and we be just, you know, looking at everybody else's business, and then we like, wait, why my business not moving? What am I doing wrong? Like, what the heck? You can't always think that your business isn't taking off because of where someone else's business is at. Sometimes someone else's business could be, what's they call that, payola? You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes people be paying for all those extra views. If you paying for extra views, God is supernatural. So. He's not going to supernaturally have you paying for views. That's just not how it works. Okay? Nothing wrong with it. If that's how you roll, that's how you roll. There's many ways to get to the top and everything like that. But so fam, the way we elevate on this channel, okay, we organic and natural. So yeah, sometimes people be like, oh, you only got 53 subscribers. Okay, babe. How many you got? How many you got? Oh. See, it'll be the ones that have no subscribers, no channel, no nothing, trying to tell you what you only got. I'm happy. Did I say my exact number? Well, one day it's going to say 530, uh, 530K. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, let it be. And nobody has said that to me recently. But trust me, so fam, back, back in my day when I only had like four or five subscribers. It was like, you only got five subscribers. Okay. That is five more than I had last month. Boo. You know what I'm saying, so fam? So this is what you got to understand with the relationship with God. Sometimes we really be thinking that God is just going to show us his whole one, two, three in one day. No. He's not going to show you one day. He just not. It don't take one day for plants to grow. It don't take one day for farms to grow. It takes time. It takes understanding. And it never stops growing. That's number one. So if you get everything in one day, by the time you're like 40, you're going to be bored. You're going to be sitting there like, dang, God, you gave me everything in one day. Well, now what I'm supposed to do? So take your time, soul fam. Take your time to understand that those that are intimidated with your relationship with God, take your time to see their relationship with God. Take time to see how they're acting. Take time to see how they handle situations. 
Take time to see what they ask it for. You know? Like, when I say ask it for, like, their intention. Sometimes people be just be trying to stunt on haters. Do not waste time trying to stunt on haters, so fam. Once you start stunting for haters, you start working for haters. I don't work for haters. I work for me. So I'm going to do what I want to do for me. I'm not going to do what I do because, oh, you you said I was going to fail. Okay. You can think I'm going to fail, man. Thank you. And move on. Sometimes we've been holding too much energy towards someone that sent us some negativity. Let that go. Quickly. Learn how to, number one thing you need to learn is how to let negativity go quickly. The quicker, the better. You really want to have it rain and pour. Get rid of that negative energy quick. Because the longer you're holding on to that, it's holding you back. You're trying to get to where you got to go, and you're holding on to grief. You're holding on to stress. As soon as I feel a little stress, I'll be like, who can I who can I call to help me with the stress? Okay. I, I'll give me a coach and a therapist in a minute, so fam. Because I, I have to make sure I show up for my clients. And I can't be showing up the way I have to show up if I'm stressed out. And I'm human. We're humans. Sometimes we be trying to act like we're not humans and we start adapting to these. You're still a human. Still a human. I still have this body. You know what I'm saying? So we have to do what we need to do. And if that means you need a little coach, okay. You need a little ther ther therapy session, okay. It come back to you. Sometimes we, we're not quick to invest in ourselves. And then we'd be also wondering, like, wait, well, I'm not growing. You're not investing in, you're not watering your seeds. You're not investing in your mind. You're not investing in your time. And okay, you just wasting, you just, I don't know. You, you, you're not, you missing something. You know what I'm saying? You too, sometimes we have too much pride. We have too much pride inside, and so it makes us want to hide. Let go of that pride. Book that session. Talk to who you need to talk to. Okay? Let's get it moving. <laughs> Let's get it grooving. All right. And not to go so far left off topic, but so fam, listen. Those that are intimidated with your relationship with God, you need to send them to God. You need to move out the way. Sometimes when we do so fam, we start to act as if we God because God has fixed so much in our life. So now we like, God, I can do your job. No. He needs you to do your job. If you're doing his job, who doing your job? If you so busy doing his job, okay, who doing your job? So, sometimes, Sophia, we need to learn how to back, 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 back it up a bit. Sometimes we be just too full of ourselves and not understanding, not having clarity, just following, you know what I'm saying, Sophia? We gotta get it together. We really do. And I say we, because I, 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 I check myself too. I'm, I'm not up here because everything I do is perfect. No. I'm not afraid to be the student. Sometimes we just think we, we could never be the student anymore. And we just like, the Lord gave me an A+. Plus. Okay, you got another class. Go. Sign up for your other class. Why you ain't sign up for class yet? A plus. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, so then, let's let's check ourselves. All every day. Every day. Every day we go to the Lord and say, Lord, check my heart. Check my heart. Make sure I'm doing as you need me to do, and I'm not overstepping. See, sometimes we start overstepping, and then it'll backfire. It'll backfire in a way you be like. I had good intentions. Yeah, you had good intentions, but you also got out of position. Okay? That's not in your job description. Okay? So I need you to get back on doing what you're doing. Okay? Oftentimes when we fall off track and we feel a little turbulence, it's either we growing really fast or we done fell too far off the path. One of the two. And you'll know the clear difference. Okay? Fix the turbulence. But, so fam. You gotta think of it like this one. We have those loved ones or friends and family that we want to be in our life and 
they are continuously kind of coming to us for for help and coming to us and coming to us you have to know when you can no longer help okay you have to know when it's time to huh, call in the big guys think of it like this say you had a uh excuse me say you had a clogged drain right and you call your friend Lily who's a hairstylist. You say, hey Lily, girl, my drain, my drain, my drain is clogged, girl. Could you come over here and fix it? Lily gonna say, girl, I'm a hairdresser. <laughs> but I got a number to the plumber. You know what I'm saying? I got a number to the plumber. Let me get his number. Okay? 1-800, call on the Lord. So we have to learn so fam when it's out of our reach. Sometimes what we'll be doing so fam, right? Sorry, so fam. Sometimes so fam, I had a hair. Sometimes so fam, we'll be on our path with God, right? And God will be blessing us. Everything will be amazing. We would just be happy. We would just be like, oh my God, Lord, I love you. You're just so amazing. We'd be all bubbly. And then when we look over to the left, we be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And you know, it'll be looking crazy over there. And so you'll just be like, oh, God, um, such and such, such and such. And then you'll be like, hey, how the hell I said this? What, what else? The, the only thing you can do, sometimes God is trying to let you know, the only thing you can do is move out the way. Sometimes we so busy sniffing everything else. That we don't know how to unsniff and mind our business and send them where they gotta go and give them that number. Like, hey, call on the Lord. Cause this is out of my this is out of my reach. Okay? You have to know when something is out of your reach and when you gotta keep doing what you gotta do. Cause again, if you are doing God's job, who's doing your job? You have people that's trying to call you and they can't get through to you because you, you, you holding up your line to go help a situation that is out of your reach. It's out of your description. It's not part of your position. If everyone knows how to play their position, okay, everything will run the way it needs to run. And in order for you to understand your position, so fam, you got to be doing that work with the Lord. And you have to be focused. And you cannot be distracted by a distraction that the Lord didn't send to you. Sometimes we'll be trying to go over there and be, you know, save, save up. And th that wasn't from the Lord. And you asking the Lord to help you and guide you. And the Lord is looking at you like, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's literally, like, what are you doing? This is not what I told you to do. This is not what I told you to do. You know, like. Just go in your room. Just, I didn't tell you to do that. And then it takes away from when God is trying to tell us what to do, how to do, why to do. And it takes our mind off of the focus. I always just be like, God, keep my mind on you. We have to learn how to speak like that. We're trying to get God to help us. And we're trying to build that relationship with God. But we're trying to do one foot in, one foot out. Is it you win or you out? People, because I can't, I can't deal with this emotional stress. It's either you win or you out, and whichever one you choose, that's okay. For you later, deuces, you know. So, so fam, take time, take breaths, take it easy, and understand if someone is intimidated by your relationship with God. More than likely, they don't have a relationship with God. And if they don't have a relationship with God, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Amelia Adia here. For those that are new to the channel, welcome. In order to be a part of our soul fam, all you have to do is subscribe. Comment from line to time. Like, let me know that you're there. You know what I say? And if you ever want to book a session with me, all my details are below. Take some time. Take your time. Make sure I'm the coach for you. Okay? That's number one. And apply the knowledge, so fam. 
Apply the knowledge. That's number one. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so fam, Amelia, a dear, yeah. I'm going to see you again at the next win. Bye for now.